What's going on guys, this is your captain speaking. If you're a post scorer and you're tired of getting stripped and ripped in the park, then this video is for you. Let me take a look at three keys that I find crucial to making sure you limit your turnovers and how to implement these keys to your, to your game. I want you to pay close attention to this video right here, this clip. We're going to come back to that so you guys know how to make sure why that happened first of all and how to make sure that doesn't happen to you. Alright, so first off the three keys we're talking about using your post control, finding good teammates, and changing your mentality. Right here I'm showing you what my stats are for credibility reasons, you know, so you guys understand I know what I'm talking about. You see my field goal percentage, 77% in the park. And more importantly for this video, turnovers per game only 0.5. Alright, so I'm not getting shipped every game. This is not a normal thing for me where I just lose the ball like two, three, four, five, six times a game or anything like that. Alright. So here I have uh Arbizzle in here doing 1v1 and I, I basically just told him like hey just spam X try to steal the ball and I'm gonna see if I can stop you and he does get a couple of pokes here at the beginning and that's perfect for our discussion right here so you guys see what I did wrong and what you guys should not do so here we're gonna show this first poke in slow motion you're gonna see as soon as I start to back him down he pokes it away as he's spamming X. That's one thing you can't do. You can't be at the three point line and just try and muscle your way down into the paint underneath the rim. That's not gonna work. You have to switch it up, use your post control to find different ways to score. I'm gonna get into that a little bit more after the second example as he pokes it away. You see, he pokes it away right there. I'm gonna show that again in slow motion so you see exactly what happened. Now this one should be a little bit easier for you guys to understand in terms of what happened because it's pretty obvious. He's right in front of the ball and he presses X. <laughs> so that's going to happen. If you're supposed to score and you get the ball shit this way, you shouldn't be surprised. And I mean, it's, it's pretty common. Like he's right in front of the ball. That should happen in all honesty. Um, but if you're using your post control the right way, this still won't happen every time. Even if you're in this situation, which is a bad situation to be in, you need to pass if you're ever in a situation like that, where he's right in front of you just spamming. But even if you're in that situation, it might be a foul if you're using your post control the right way. And I have an example of that later on in the video. You're gonna see that pretty soon. All right, so what I mean by using your post control in the right way? I mean, using your shoulder face, your step in your face, and changing your post stance over and over and over to get you in position to score. Don't just try and back your man down. Otherwise, what happened in that clip at the beginning and what happened in the clip at the start of this 1v1 is going to happen to you. They're going to poke it away. They might foul you, but chances are they can poke it away from you as well. All right, so that's key. You're going to see plenty of examples of me doing just that. See, like I switch my post stance, switch my post stance, shoulder fake, he fouls me. And that's going to happen over and over and over. Now, the second key I want to talk about is changing your mentality, right? I see so many people that talk about, oh man, I can't, I can't score in the post, man, because they just keep spamming, they just keep fouling and ripping me and all this other stuff. Look, if you're changing your post stance and doing all these other things, shoulder fakes, seven fakes, all these things, without trying to bully your way into the paint, you're not going to get shipped very often. And they're just going to accumulate fouls on you, which is a good thing. For some reason, so many people they have a bad mentality when, when it comes to fouls. Like, if you're on the offense, that's a good thing for you. Your defender's grade goes down. Your grade goes up. He gets a cold ring on under him. And you get a, a reset on the shot clock. That's all good. I've had so many times where somebody spammed me and there's two seconds on the shot clock and they just reset it for us. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Change your mentality with that. The second thing you have to change your mentality about is... You're the dominant one. He's spamming X because he has no other option. He can't stop you. Think of it this way. If a playmaker is dribbling and you know they can't dribble very well, they can't shoot, are you going to spam X to get the ball from them? No. You're going to let them throw a brick. Or if you do 
try to steal, you're going to time it to poke it away. It's the same thing with a post score. All right, if he knew how to defend you, he would not be spamming on you. He'd be trying to defend you. So you got to change your mentality. Next thing, you have to have good teammates. All right, what do I mean by having good teammates? You get need teammates that A, space the floor, and B, don't give you the ball in the, in the bad situations. What do I mean by bad situations? I mean those instant turnovers, you know, when they pass you the ball and you just automatically fumble it because you're in traffic and they spam X on you. You gotta have teammates that put you in position to succeed. All right, because you can't bring the ball up. That's obvious. All right, so those are the keys. Now we're gonna throw some examples in the park here. First, I'm gonna give you examples of, of teammates that throw bad passes and then good passes and good spacing. Now, uh, <laughs> Birdman, J. Dougie, if you're watching this, don't take it personally uh, with the passes. It's just a recent footage that I had. But anyway, we're gonna get into the park footage right here. So you can see my man Birdman, he throws me a pass, but it's not a great pass. Although it doesn't work, it doesn't uh, end up in a turnover, but that's not the pass you want. Again, here, not a good pass because it easily could have been a turnover. But wait, co pay close attention to what happens right here, what happens next. I'm in between these two guys, I hit him with a shoulder fake, and he fouls me. It's not a steal, because he's fouling me as I hit the shoulder fake. That's the same situation that I was with him in my, my court, my 1v1, but it, it's not a steal. That's going to happen often with this. Now this is an example of good spacing with good teammates and, good, and a good pass. Check it out. They're on opposite corners. They're not going to double right there. They're going to give up the corner three. Who's, who's going to double right there? I take my time. I'm not going to bully him down into the paint. I hit him with a spin and I score. Here's the next example. They, they're trying to steal. He's trying to spam. I just step back. And hit him with a, you know, a hop shot. Here's a good example of a great entry pass. I'm down there under the bucket. If you're a glass cleaner, after that finisher, that's or a post score, that's gonna be money. Here, hop shot to a fake, green light. And then continue from here on out. It's just examples of me changing my post stance, giving fakes, and my opponent just fouling and not getting the ball. So all these things are important. They come together, and that's what's gonna help you beat these spammers. You have to use all three. You have to have good teammates, you have to change your mentality, and you have to use your post control. Alright? Don't just try and back somebody down. It's not going to work. You have to do things like what you see in this video. Right here, I dribble past him. He tries to spam. Shoulder fake. As he's trying to spam, and he misses the ball, and that's step back. That, that's about it, guys. Remember, just one recap, one more recap. This is important. I keep stressing this because it's important. You have to make sure you change your mentality, you have good teammates, and you use your post control. All right? And eventually, believe it or not, they're going to stop spamming because it's not working. Check this out. In this video right here, you've seen plenty of clips of him spamming. This is the end of the game. He's not spamming anymore because he just kept fouling me. It's, he's probably got like a D or something. So, and this is the beginning of the game, or early on in the game, not the very beginning. But I try to back him down, and as you guys know from watching the rest of this video, that's not a good idea, because he's spamming. And see that animation right there? That's going to be a poke. You don't want to be in that position. You want to back him down using fakes, changing your stance, switch it up. But that's it for me, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff if you did. And uh, comment below if this stuff is worth for you, man. It's worked for me. So I expect it to work for you as well. Alright, catch you guys on the next one.